3i Atlas is 10 days away from reaching its perihelion. What changes will occur after it passes perihelion? On October 29th, the interstellar visitor 3i Atlas will reach its closest point to the Sun, what is known as perihelion. At this moment, it will be only about 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun, which is roughly over 200 million kilometers. However, it will be positioned directly behind the Sun from our viewpoint, making it completely unobservable by telescopes on Earth. But even though it's invisible at that moment, it won't affect subsequent observations because perihelion is often a watershed moment for a comet's destiny. Typical solar system comets, when passing perihelion, often experience an active outburst. Their brightness rapidly surges, developing extremely prominent tails and jets. But 3i Atlas is different. It is not a native of our solar system. It's an interstellar comet. Its structure, density, and chemical composition could be fundamentally different from local comets. Previously, spectroscopic data from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed 3i Atlas's strange chemical structure. Its carbon dioxide to water ratio is extremely high, reaching a startling 8 to 1. This is different from the common water ice comets within our solar system. When the primary volatile is not water, but carbon dioxide, a comet's behavior is significantly different. CO2 can sublimate at lower temperatures, meaning the comet begins activity earlier, while still far from the sun. Furthermore, its outgassing is more prone to appearing as intense, highly directional jets. This was evident in the high-resolution images previously captured by the Gemini South Observatory Telescope and the Webb Telescope. Therefore, due to its different chemical composition, 3i Atlas could undergo three possible changes after passing perihelion. Survival and brightening. If 3i Atlas's structure is more robust than expected, with a core encased in rock or metal, then it could survive the perihelion ordeal. When its surface is heated to hundreds of degrees, the frozen gases inside begin to jet out, forming active regions resembling jets. These jets will eject dust, reflecting more sunlight, causing its brightness to suddenly increase several fold. What we could see from Earth would be a new star reappearing. When it emerges from behind the sun in early November, its brightness could reach between 8th and 10th magnitude. Major astronomical telescopes will be able to see it, returning with a soft glowing tail. If it survives, scientists can compare spectral changes around the perihelion passage, observing how alien ices react under high temperatures. This holds revolutionary significance for understanding the chemical evolution of interstellar objects. Partial disruption or fragmentation. This is the outcome astronomers consider most likely. If its internal structure is loose, solar heating could cause surface eruptions. Fragmentation would make the comet suddenly brighten for a few days before rapidly fading. This phenomenon occurred previously with Comet C-2019 Y4 Atlas. The broken fragments would spread along its orbit, forming a dust trail or a temporary haze. Astronomers could analyze the light curve and dust structure to determine the fragmentation process and might even observe its fragments rearranging like a dispersed interstellar dust trail. Complete disintegration of 3i Atlas. This is the most extreme outcome. When the intensity of solar radiation exceeds the structural tolerance of the comet, its nucleus could be vaporized and shattered, leaving behind only a faint dust trail and gas cloud. Then, after perihelion, we would see nothing. Humanity would no longer observe any light emitted by 3i Atlas. So, since perihelion is so crucial for observing a comet, do we have any other means to observe this interstellar comet? Surprisingly, yes, we do. NASA's SOHO Solar Observatory can capture sun-grazing comets against the intense solar corona. 
Comet C-2025 R2, WER, was discovered by SOHO during its perihelion passage. Additionally, ESA's Solar Orbiter might also capture the moment 3 Iatlas is closest to the Sun. If it doesn't disintegrate, then its brightness will increase significantly. Telescopes like Hubble and Webb will all be pointed towards it. This will also be humanity's last chance to observe it clearly. After December, its brightness will gradually fade and it will begin moving away from the inner solar system. In the coming decades, it will gradually fade from our telescopic view, finally returning to interstellar space to become a faint glimmer in the cosmos, nearly impossible to track.